Okay, so today what we're going to cover is a hydrant bag, and I'm going to explain everything that's inside a hydrant bag. Right now we're outside of our station one, and I've got rescue one outside. Now the hydrant bag's not kept in this compartment, I've just got it here so that it's real easy to work off of. So, as you can see, this hydrant bag is bright orange, and it says hydrant bag on it. The new hydrant bags that we'll be putting on the trucks, they're actually bigger and they're dark black, but we went to a bigger bag just because we actually put a lot of stuff inside the bags. So, first thing to talk about is it's got these Velcro straps. What you do is once you have the hydrant bag complete, you would put the strap around the hose and the hose will sit in the back of the bed and that way everything stays together. As you open up the hydrant bag, the first thing that I pull out this is called a gated valve, okay? It's got a particular two, two and a half inch coupling to a two and a half inch coupling, and it manually operates a gate that allows water to pass through. What you do with this, and the reason that we have it in the bag, is it goes on the side of the hydrant on the smaller two and a half inch connection. And the purpose of this is twofold, one, it's an easy way to drain the hydrant and the supply line when operations are done, but it also allows you to connect another hose line and run it to either another truck or to the same truck on scene so that you're actually able to get more water to the apparatus. Hydrant valves or gate valves are real simple to operate. They're just open and close. There's not much to them. That's the gate valve. Next thing in here. It's another storage coupling. Now this is the very particular coupling. This one has the hydrant threads on it and because all of our hydrants are five inches, it's a five inch thread, but it's also got the traditional stores fittings. Okay, next thing we have is a hydrant wrench and it is adjustable. You just twist the handle to increase the bolt size or Twist it to decrease the bolt size, and also don't forget that you do have a spanner wrench on the end of the hydrant wrench. Okay, next thing in here is two big spanner wrenches with two small spanner wrenches. This way that you actually have a way to loosen or tighten couplings as you go up and down the hose. And the last thing that we have in here is a cap. This cap's in here just in case you have one of the actual caps on the hydrant, the small caps that are broken. This way you can close the hydrant back off and still have it be usable. And that is the review and completion of the hydrant bags.